We are talking this morning about a push in New Jersey to ease access to medical marijuana for children. Medical marijuana is legal now in the Garden State, but New Jersey has one of the strictest rules on how children can be treated with the drug. In our previous segment, we met Megan and Brian Wilson. Their two-year-old daughter, Vivian, suffers from a severe form of epilepsy. They are fighting to get Governor Christie to sign a bill that will allow their daughter to get treated with a certain type of cannabis. And joining us now is the parent's doctor, Vivian's doctor, Dr. Anthony Anz Anzalone. I got that right, right, Anthony? Um, and good to have you here joining us on the program. Y you are you. what's called a, a medical marijuana doctor, right? Specialist, yes. A specialist. Specialist. Explain what that is. Well, basically, I uh, evaluate patients like uh, her daughter. Like Vivian. Vivian's uh, Vivian, exactly. And then I register them with the state, providing they meet the criteria. So do you only see patients who need marijuana for medical reasons? Is that your entire practice? Yes, basically, yes. That's practice? Really yes. Okay, okay. How many other young children are you seeing with yeah. this kind of need? Well, before the state had asked me not to do it until we had this thing resolved with the law and so forth, I saw only two others at that, at that time. Children? Yes, two other okay. children, okay. precisely. And, uh, for, and uh, the rest of the patients that I am seeing are adults. Okay. You know, when the governor or when, when legislators say, you know, there could be abuses with this. Yes. Abuses, what could they be? I guess they're afraid of the child walking around, uh, like Vivian, high, uh, you know, alt mind altering uh, things. But abuse, maybe, maybe the parents are taking it, who knows? I mean, when, when I you hear abuse in the system, what, what, what runs through your mind? And what, what, what is, where are it's they coming from with that? Because mm -hmm. they're afraid that marijuana, cannabis is going to be a gateway drug for Vivian. And really the gateway drugs are the phenobarbital, you know, the clobazam, those are gateway drugs. Mm -hmm. Though They have psychotropic effects, you know, and to think that cannabis could be a gateway drug and that she's going to form an addiction, it's just, I mean, if you met Vivian, you know, we're just trying to, like, keep her healthy, you know? Yeah. Right. The, the thing is, it's, it's not the kind that's going to get her high. Um, so they just need to educate themselves about what this was really about. Yeah, you know, there is controversy in the medical community about this because yes. some say mm -hmm. there have been no clinical trials done yes. on this and, and that we really don't know what the mm -hmm. impact of children, you know, on marijuana or cannabis is going to be. I mean, does that concern you at all? There's, there are many studies that are being done in the laboratory mm -hmm. out west. Uh, I'm in a collaborative study with some people called the Upscale Project in Oregon. And uh, basically, there's a lot of research, oversight, education, both uh, to the physicians and to the public. And I'm trying to incorporate this into the state of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And uh, with a little luck, it will be successful. I I'd ask Megan this, but you pretty, feel pretty confident that this drug could help Vivian? Yes, there's no guarantee, as Megan said. You can't tell because there's, there's a lot involved here, not just the plant genetics, but also the patient's genetics. It may be good for us, you may need a different uh, sort of other strain or another count, but it, it varies from individual to individual. Okay. You're waiting, essentially, mm -hmm. for the governor to sign this bill. Right. And you're making this plea, and I know you've got a website um, where people can go to um, lettersforvivian.org Correct. Um, if they want to send a letter or a message to the governor. Uh, do you think he's going to veto it? Do you think he'll sign it? Where do you think you stand right now? Um, if mm. he's, he's really... Megan, you're a little nervous. He's really playing his cards. Um, we just hope he shows that he's actually human and compassionate and signs this instead of playing politics. He's really playing politics with our daughter's life. I really don't know. Um, I think if it was 100% up to him, he would veto it, but he mentions in a lot of interviews, you know, I look to so-and-so as my counsel on health issues, and I hope that the people who advise him are maybe a little more open-minded and they're going to say to him, you know. I mean, you want to sit down and talk to him, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I asked for an, I made an appointment, or I tried to make an appointment because he says he, you know, the, 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 the barriers he puts in front of signing them, to me, sounds like he hasn't heard the right information. I mean, if, if you could sit down with him and, you know, just one sentence, what would you say to him? Yeah, well, what if this was your child? What would you do? And if he vetoes this, what will you do? Probably move. No move. Mm -hmm. You're that confident and that sure that, that this could help your child? Yes. I wouldn't put my reputation on it if I wasn't confident. But you believe pretty strongly. Well, yeah, I have a good uh, group of science people behind me. So okay. There have been actually studies by the U.S. government in the 70s on children with epilepsy. Uh, there have been a lot of other uh, cannabis studies by the government that's proven uh, medical, medicinal benefits of, of marijuana. So it's. 
Okay. That's politics right now. Okay. I wish you the best of luck with this. Thank you. We'll see what Thank happens. You. We'll keep following this. Doctor, Thank good you. to have you on the show with Thank us. You Brian, me. Thank you so much. Good Thank to you. have you both so here. Much. Good Thank luck you. with Vivian. Thank you. And that'll do it for this edition of Up Close. If you missed any of today's program, you can catch it again on our website, 7online.com. We want to thank you for watching. I'm Diana Williams. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a good one.